Hey guys, I'm Jesse Spaulding with Spaulding International Cinema, and I'm here showing you the new features of the Ghost. So we've made a lot of awesome updates since our Kickstarter, and I just want to run through those really quickly with you. First of all, we now have three brushless motors controlling the Ghost. We have our tilt motor right here. The roll is in the back, and now the pan is also motorized. All the electronics are enclosed in their own housings. The main control board is housed within this compartment, and the sensor is also fully enclosed. We also have new aluminum clamps, which are a lot lighter and stronger than what we had on the original Ghost. Back around here, we have the mode switch. We have three program modes, but you can also customize the modes within the software. And then coming around to the top, we have the extension grip, which gives you more clearance if you have bigger hands, or it's also great for doing handoff shots. And we have an accessory mount. If the grip gets in the way, then you can put your monitor or any accessory off to the side. So let me fire it up and we'll run through some of the new features. So when you power on the Ghost, you want to keep it completely stable for about five to eight seconds. I just take my hands off of it and let it calibrate. You'll see the motors kick in and once they're kicked in, then it's ready to operate. Right now we are in the lock mode and the lock mode, you can see it holds that one position. No matter where I move, it's going to hold the same position that it's locked in. With the newest firmware, you can also max out your angles. So as you're going all the way back, all the way forward, the camera is going to hold that position. Same with the roll. You're not going to get any vibrations as you max out those angles. Then if you hit the mode switch once, it instantly changes over to the follow mode. So now you can see as I tilt down, the camera tilts down. As I tilt up, it's going to tilt up. Goes left and goes right. So it's following my movements. This is an excellent mode of operation for a single operator. So to get back to the lock mode, push the mode switch twice, and now you're back in the lock mode. So it's holding that position. We also have a third feature programmed in where you can set tilt angles by hand. You'll hit the mode switch three times, and then the motors will disengage, and you have a couple seconds to adjust the angle and then it will hold the new angle that you put it in. So I'll demonstrate. Go one, two, three. Set it off to the side. And then now it locks into a new position. So not everyone's gonna wanna do this with their ghost, but if you're going for some artsy canted shot, then there may be a reason you wanna offset it. And to get back, you'll just hit the button three times again, and then make sure you level it out. So go. One, two, three. Make sure it's level, have a nice horizon, and it holds that new position. You can also easily hook up a joystick or a remote control if you want a second person to operate the Ghost. You'll just plug that into the main control board if that's desired. However, the follow mode is probably going to be the most used feature because it just naturally follows your movements. So thanks for watching our video, and you can visit us at sickvisuals.com or check us out on Facebook.